Hi, and welcome to the club. If you want high and consistent frame rates, best gaming experience possible, then this guide is for you. Make sure to watch until the end for 11 pro tips that will change your gaming experience on PC. In this video, I will show you how to prevent FPS drops, lag and stutter, while also maintaining lightweight system monitoring and also how you prevent crashes. You know, here's the thing. Usually average FPS gets all the glory, but minimum FPS actually dictates how smooth gameplay feels. That's important. The low minimum leads to jarring stutters and you will notice every hitch. Human perception penalizes even brief dips more severely than it rewards high peaks. That's important to note. Here's how you get 20 to 40 percent more minimum FPS depending on which hardware you have of course, while also solving lag and stutter and any crashes possible. Let's go. Here's the list. Take it as a manual and checklist, yeah? It's a brutally honest guide to stop self-sabotaging your own PC performance, yeah? Now, I know what you want to say, yeah, but the games are so badly optimized or optimization is not there and, and or non-existent somehow. And yeah, I know what you mean, but you can do something for the other games. I'm not talking of Unreal 5 engine games or whatnot. I'm talking about general stuff, which you can do, everyone can do. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to have any clarification regarding a specific topic. I'd be happy to assist. Let's go. All right, let's start with the list. Number one, obvious one, you have too many programs running. Close all the other programs not necessary. All the background junk right as your game. Do it. Number two, you have probably untapped potential in your Windows settings. Maybe you have the power plan still on balance. Switch that to high or ultimate performance. Yeah, helps. You can check if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is off. Enable that. Also check if game mode is disabled. If it is, turn that on. Game priority isn't set high. Fix that. By that I mean CPU priority. Usually it's on normal by default. Only some have it on high per default, but you can do that easily via registry fix. I have how you do that in the description down below. No tools or external programs needed, just text editor and you're good to go. Number three, drivers and software bloat. Related to drivers, of course, I mean. Maybe you have the NVIDIA app installed or the Adrenaline from AMD. Deinstall that. Regarding NVIDIA, maybe you have the FrameView SDK installed. Get rid of it, de just deinstall that. Maybe you have Ansel active as well, yeah? Disable that. How you do it is in the description down below. Number four, dirty driver installation. Maybe you just install driver over driver. That's not the best idea. My advice is never update a driver without the DDU, meaning the display driver uninstaller. It's easy to do, fully automated. Links in the description down below as well. Always do a clean install, especially after GPU swaps and Maya driver updates, fellas. Number five, maybe you forgot to clear the cache. A shader cache. Big game patch or driver update was imminent? Clear that cache. Do it. Number six, system instability. You never stress tested your setup? Not a good idea. Expect crashes, stuttering and random dips if you never did so. Must not be, but can happen. I strongly advise to stress test your system 100%, fully on load 100% for at least one hour permanent. Do it. Number seven, thermal mayhem. Temperatures above 85 degrees. Not a good idea. Your hardware sending distress signals. Improve airflow, replace underwall, do anything but do something. Yeah, you can, an example, check your airflow and pressure. This alone can make a massive difference. Number eight, BIOS blunders. Wrong settings on the BIOS. Do you know? I don't know. You know? Do you know what you do? Better is. Don't just enable XMP and pray. Understand what it does. You know, CPUs like Intel's 13th and 14th generation require precise settings. Always verify that or you will have crashes. Number nine, monitoring madness. Are you running maybe 10 monitoring tools with ultra low polling rates? Not a good idea at all. That actually hurts performance quite a lot. Instead use one well configured tool and only maybe 10 sensors maximum, disable the rest. And also if you're using FreeSync or G-Sync, do not limit your FPS with a third party tool that will massively hurt your overall latency and you will feel the lag. Number 10, GPU settings not optimized. Your card is still running on default settings, an example in the AMD or Nvidia options. Tune that for maximum performance in your CPU control panel. Number 11, DLSS abuse. Are you running DLSS 4 on a low and hard. the transformer model is what I'm speaking of that actually can reduce FPS by up to 15% as well in some scenarios. So use wisely. Ladies and gentlemen, that was it. If you learned something, please like, share and subscribe for more brutally honest PC performance tips. As always, thanks for watching. Ultimate Claim Club. Peace out.